Oh, oh, it came out the other one. <laughs> we gotta go back to the other side now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's nice. Both a few times might be worth it, Benny, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Check it out, guys. Benny's out there getting a fire going. I'm gonna be servicing that plow over there today because winter's coming. The main reason you gotta flush the fluid, bud, do you know what it is? Pop quiz? Pop quiz. I would say the fluid just goes bad. Negative. No. Moisture. Moisture. Moisture in the fluid. Moisture gets in the, in the system. And even if you got a couple little block, like droplets of water in there, and you're in a storm that's 15 degrees. Oh, and it freezes? That water will freeze. And it, mm. even though there's so much pressure with hydraulic fluid, that piece of ice will block the entire system. So if there's any moisture in your system, any of your whatever, it can start going through a hose and get hung up on a hose. And a lot of times if you're in the middle of a storm and you're trying to lift everything up and the plow, the plow sounds like it's working, but it's going It's usually not electrical. In my opinion, I think most of the time it's moisture in the lines and you got a little block of ice somewhere. You know, because people would be like, oh, I can go left, right, I can do this, but I can't go up or down. And that means maybe the moisture got itself to the the hose that goes to the up and down piston or yeah. vice versa. Yeah. But the next morning, if it warms up and everything like that, you go out, de-thaws, the system's going to work again. Because a little bit of water and it's not going to hurt it until it freezes. We got a lot to do to it, man. This is only the first video of all the things we're about to do to this plow. Let's get some more wood on this fire, it's cold. You jerk. Took my spot. There we go. Truck's warming up. What we're gonna do is hook up to the plow. We're gonna get all the electrical hooked up. We're gonna go back and forth, up and down, kind of work the hydraulic fluid through the system. That way it'll warm it up a little bit, make it easier to drain, and we'll also be able to make sure everything on the plow is working. So I don't want to go into too much detail on how we hook this plow up. I do have a separate video in the playlist and in a link in the description below of how we hook this plow up to the truck, and it goes into a little bit more detail. So if you want to learn more about that, check out that link in the description below. This is the controller I have for my truck. It is a joystick and this is just a straight blade plow. So all we have is raise lower, left and right. And there's an on and off switch. That's just gonna cut the feed to your, your plow. So when you're done plowing, you just shut it off on. It's the simplest in my opinion. You can just rest your arm on your door here and use your hand. I don't like the free or loose handhelds because it's just like, I don't know where to hold them any. Where do you hold it? This is nice and fixed. You don't have to worry yeah. about it. Hands Sorry, free. If I want to take my hand off of the joystick and pick my nose, I can. <laughs> With my other, the other plow, when I have to drop it, pick my nose and then pick it up again. <laughs> All right, go ahead, up. Okay, for us to be able to freely drain those bottom pistons, we're gonna end up having to let the plow down pretty much in the air so that the blade is free to spin. So I'm gonna put a block and a few pieces of wood underneath there just to keep it suspended up in the air. Push this piston down. Hit the down. All right. Our top piston there is pushed as down, pushed down as much as it needs to be. And our blade is hoisted in the air so that when we release the pressure on those bottom pistons, we can manually turn the plow left and right. It'll go. There's some coals there, bud. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's hot. 
Got my oil drain pan over there. So you just gotta put the pan underneath. Let it run all over this metal, it's not gonna hurt it. Just get the pan under there and, and pick up as much as you can. It's been so long, bro, I forgot if that's an Allen wrench under there, it torques bit. <laughs> that's torque. It's not an Allen wrench, guys. It's torque, I'm pretty sure. And wrong again. It's always the last one you look in, you know? You know, a big reason that I love these Fisher Minute Mount plows is that they're they're very simple. Simply designed, simple to maintain, simple to use, <laughs> and they're just solid. I mean, I barely ever break down in these things. I broke down in uh, plow trucks that I worked for other people that maybe the plows weren't maintained so well, but when you take care of these plows, they're just solid and consistently solid. Almost everything that you're gonna need to do on this plow can be done with two adjustable wrenches to drain the plug, is you need one of these torque bits. And whenever you find which size that is, you can just pluck that size out. And this is just a little like emergency repair kit. It's all you need for the plows. This, these will take care of pulling your hoses off if you need to replace a hose. This takes care of opening your, your drain fill um, plug there. Un, undo or tighten your positive negative feeds on your, your pump there. These two adjustable wrenches and one little Torx bit is all you need. Isn't that awesome, Ben? Cool. So bud, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna start with draining this reservoir here. See where it says change fluid annually. So we gotta release that plug. And then once that completely drains, we gotta actually unhook those pistons on the bottom. Whoa. We gotta unhook those pistons and let the let them drain because they obviously that fluid is not gonna make its way up here and drain through there. I actually made a video last year on how to maintain this and I didn't do that. And it's definitely one thing I, I could have done, but I had a guy comment on it and I was like, you know something? That's a really good idea. And I'm, I'm foolish to not do it after somebody told me to do that because it's smart, right? It's smart. That way we know the oil in these bottom pistons are new too. Yep, she's going. Try to get this in the best place and we'll adjust it. A little small. Maybe it was that one. Maybe it's an Allen wrench. <laughs> <laughs> nice and tight, bud. Very tight. Hey, Benny, what's that song? I got another confession to make. It's an Allen wrench. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not a singer, guys. I'm sorry for that, but it is not a Torx bit. It's an Allen wrench. I was deceived at the beginning. <laughs> so we want to pop this bottom drain um, plug out. Before we do so, we're gonna take our fill plug out. What that's gonna do is just allow better airflow, let it drain quicker, a little more freely. And when you're doing this, you need to be careful because if there's pressure in the system, it can blow hydraulic fluid out. So make sure you're not looking directly at it. You wanna stand off to the side and unscrew it. But that's definitely that's a very serious thing. You need to be careful, guys. Especially too, if you don't release all that pressure from that uh, top piston, it's another cause of it, it blowing out. You need to release the pressure of this pin or this uh, plug very slowly. Definitely an Allen wrench. Okay. 
Oh yeah. She's coming. Watch your hands. Oh! Yeah. Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah. 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 Isn't that a great spot for the drain, dude? Terrible. <laughs> Another thing you need, speedy dry. Probably could have used a funnel. To be honest with you, I could have done that. But I just thought about it after I covered my hands <laughs> in oil. That's, so that's the only issue with that. If I could, if I could turn back time, <laughs> I'd use a funnel right there. Wow, dude, what a karaoke today. I'm amped up for disc golf. Just gonna clean up around the, the tank. Yeah, a funnel would have worked great. So if you're watching this how-to, grab a funnel and just hold it under there. That's all you should, that's all you gotta do. <laughs> Alright, so it's dripping a little bit, but that's pretty much all that is gonna come out of there. So we're gonna take our drain plug, which is what that looks like when it comes out. And we're gonna put that back in. Put it in hand tight there. Okay, same thing with that fill plug. That can just go in hand tight for now. That's to prevent any dust or anything while you're working from going in there. You want to keep that all sealed up. Bud, can you take a look inside the shed? I think I got a bag of uh, Speedy Dry. You know what that is? <laughs> Just messing with Benny. You got it, right? I mean, that's what you got to do as a friend and as a boss. I think I'm going to have to put a little bit of PB Blaster on this uh, piston. Or, yeah, on this piston bolt here. So we're going to try to disconnect the hose first and then we'll do the fitting. side in to relieve all the pressure in that piston. When the piston's yep. open, it means that you got some fluid in it. See oh, all yeah. coming out the bottom? Yep. Now you can go look at the bottom there. Oh yeah. Thanks to that guy who commented. Maybe I'll throw the uh, the comment up right here. And that's a good idea for sure. Relieve all the hydraulic fluid that's in the piston and make sure that's completely empty for when you put new fluid through it. This one's a little bit tighter than the other one, Benny. There's Paul. <laughs> we gotta go back to the other side now. <laughs> I say all set. I gotta line that up correctly there, man. That's nice. Alright. Alright, so we'll bring it back to this other side. I guess going back and forth a few times might be worth it, Benny, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll right, push it back to you. To the other side. 
that's it? Yeah. Well, it's coming out a little. Alright, we'll just go back a, one more a little time. Bit. Just a little bit. But it only drops now. System is now fully drained. The bottom hoses that we unhooked are hooked back up and they're nice and tight. They're not loose or anything. We got those tight. And what we're going to be doing with this because we emptied the bottom pistons is we're going to fill that reservoir up until it wants to over, overfill. We're going to put the cap on. We're going to work the system, put it all back down push our, our top piston down again, take the cap off to relieve any possible air pressure, and also um, we're gonna have to top it off with fluid because now that the bottom pistons are empty, it's gonna take that reservoir, send it through, and we're gonna have to put more fluid in after. I am using the actual Fisher hydraulic fluid. There's a bunch of different ones out there, but I'm just I decided to go with the actual Fisher fluid. I've used some other ones before, but this year I kept a Fisher. I think this was almost 60 bucks for this one gallon here. I don't think we'll use that whole gallon. Probably not. Gotta go <laughs> slow because of freaking angle. Someone's gonna be like, get a nozzle, that, yeah, uh, funnel with a, a twist nozzle. Get a big funnel. What are you doing? See this? Yeah, she's thirsty. She never had so much taken out of her in her life. <laughs> Not that thirsty. Uh -oh. Damn it! We're not professionals, but <laughs> how to maintain your plow <laughs> from the professionals? <laughs> hey, what do you want me to do? To know when you're full, it starts coming out the side there. That's how you know you're full. If you do overfill it. You just let it drain out, and then when it naturally stops draining, that means you're at the level where you're full. That's really how you check. There's no dipstick or anything. So we're at a good level to put the cap back on and run the system a little bit. Well, I guess we'll... Uh, Check it all out, huh, bud? Let's do it. Okay, go down again. Okay, go up. Sweet, up's working good. Let's go left and right. All right, so now we're gonna take this cap off, see what was used, top it off, put the cap back on, and do it again. You should be able to see it right on the tip there, but not anything. So the level of it will literally come right up to there, and that's when you know you're full. Let's put some more in. Oh, there she goes. Yep. Hey, good placement, pal. Not bad at all. So you let it 
again run out anything that was extra that went in is just going to naturally come out give it a minute to do that and then you're at the right level okay our fill cap is back on we have cleaned up our fittings underneath our tank it's all wiped down nice and clean and what that's going to do is allow us to see if anything's leaking on this next test right here We're going to check the um, hydraulic level oil one more time. You can see that air coming out right now. You see that? That's the pressure that's built up in the system right now. If you were to pull that cap off completely, it's going to spray all over you. So if you ever see that air bubbling out like that, just let it be. It's going to relieve the pressure on its own. But you need to do that, because if you have that much pressure in the system, that's not good. Prussia. Yeah. You say Russia? <laughs> no, Prussia. <laughs> Different country. Perfect. Get that light again? Yeah. Oh no, that's actually money. Right where it needs to be. All right, you guys see that hydraulic fluid right there? It's at the bottom of the threads for the plug cap, whatever you want to call it. It was right at the bottom of the threads. And you saw that we relieved all the pressure in the system. So we're looking good, Benny, to just cap this thing up and it's done. The done. internal hydraulics of our plow have been flushed and refilled. So that's all set. The other things we have to do is grease all the pivot points, but we have to do it at a later time because our next video is actually going to be us stripping down this plow's paint and repainting it. And not just repainting it yellow. We got a couple ideas. So if you're a new viewer, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and you'll be able to see the next part of what we do to this plow. We're going to transform this thing. Transformation. Thank you.